Hey, it's Joe Fear from GetThriveCart.com, and in this video, we're going to talk about ThriveCart's Customer Hub. Now, this is one feature that kind of flew under the radar a little bit. Not a lot of people talked about it, but it's extremely useful for you as a product owner, but also for all of your customers to quickly change any information on the fly, uh, update things for their subscription, credit card payments, things like that. All this stuff's going to save you time as the product owner, uh, minimize support, and also make you more money with any rebills that might fail if you have a subscription business or just you know update any payment information so people can buy from you more. So let's get into it now. I'm going to show you how it all works. Okay, so when you're in Thrivecart, Customer Hub is kind of located in the settings. I'm gonna quickly go there first so you're aware uh, kind of where it lives. So we're in the dashboard here, go to settings, top right, and go all the way down to uh, account wide settings, click manage, and not invoices, but the other option is Customer Hub. So we click there, and inside of here, you can customize your own Customer Hub and quickly, you can see uh, the actual URL that you can share with your customers if they choose to update their information. So this could be a place where you can actually have as a uh, kind of a database, a support database for any people who write into you, uh, you know, with any questions. This could be like a quick resource or a macro that you can have for support, you know, for your support people or for yourself to quickly send people. And it's also included inside of each invoice, as it says right here. So people should always have access to this. And I'm going to show you how that kind of works. It's a little tricky, but it's actually secure and very simple. So obviously, you want to make sure that your uh, language is selected to whatever you're choosing is. Put your support email, your best contact email for that in here. And you can have also dial in some extra things like allowing people to actually cancel their active subscriptions. You can have them actually do that right there inside the customer hub and not kind of bug you and support for that. Or you can take that away. So it kind of, um, you know, it, it more or less requires people to actually. Uh, talk to you, you know, so you can try to save a subscription from canceling. Now, uh, the other option is a logo down here. I'm just going to say I recommend using a white transparent logo or a white with a background just because I'll show you uh, the actual customer hub has a darker background image uh, or color behind it. So white just looks better. So you can upload that right here. And then you can also put a little message here. It's not required but you can, and uh, and it basically, you know, you could say welcome to your customer hub, whatever your customer, or sorry, your company name is, and kind of let them know what to do on the page once they're on it. It's pretty self-explanatory, but something simple like this, you can kind of swipe it from us. Now, once you're done with that, you can click save, and um, you can actually preview the customer hub right here. So uh, this is what I was talking about with that kind of darker background, I guess it's more of a gray. We could see your logo on top. Customer Hub is powered by Thrivecart. And the people do have an option. Your customers have an option to choose languages, uh, you know, whatever suits them better. Here's that custom message that you wrote in there. And walking through uh, kind of, and this is an example person right here. So this isn't a person's uh, real details, but you can see when someone, so this is the view of a customer. So if they were to log into their own customer hub, this is what they see. So the process is a little different. So when you give them this link right here, that basically allows them to, let's see, I'm just going to copy this and kind of show this in a different tab what this looks like. So this is what they're going to see. They're going to see, okay, update info, purchase history, and the person will enter their email address right inside of here. What it's going to do is match that to their purchases inside of Thrivecart. It's going to send them a link for them to access their personal customer hub. So it's not like a uh, something they access immediately with that link. It's actually going to pull in all that information, send them an email in about a couple seconds. And then when they click that email, it will actually take them to a page that looks similar to this with all of their details right inside of here. So, you know, it's going to have all their details that they already have entered, their name, email, phone number, if you ask for that, 
and address. And they actually have the ability to click this box right here and uh, update their info. I'm gonna show you that in a live section. And then you can see they can actually search for a purchase using a name, or they can look under their one-time purchases. Oh, here we go. And we have some demos here. So if they uh, had a one-time purchase, they can actually see everything they purchased and then pull invoices as well. So that again, eliminates any kind of support issues because some people will write in asking for, hey, that invoice from you know five months ago, can you send that to me? And that's just an extra thing that you can eliminate now. All you have to do is just send them this link and say, hey, go grab it for yourself and you always have record. So they could do that right inside of here. Uh, of course, any trials they're on, they can check it out here, purchases. We can go back. They could also, any kind of subscription or payment, or sorry, payment plans, not subscriptions, that's separate. Payment plan, so you know if they're paying something off with you, they can see where they're at, you know what they've paid. They can actually update their credit card info, kind of look at this thing. You could see this is just a demonstration, but this shows their first payment as an example, and they can cancel future payments if they wish, see the invoice, stuff like that. So we can go back, and um, as with the other one, you know, there's a trial section, the current thing. Uh, the completed payments, if they've completed the entire thing, and any canceled ones they might have. So going back, similar thing with subscriptions. You could see that you know if they are on a trial, it's going to be under this first tab. And again, they can update info, view this, and view any invoice, cancel subscription if you allow them, and um, have all the records that way. And you can go back, see any kind of you know active subscriptions or any canceled subscriptions if they want again record for anything in the past so the benefits of this again are saving time with uh, support you know support is a huge thing it's usually a time suck for a lot of businesses or people if you're running your own show and um, you know it's a cost savings as well so you can minimize hours uh, this is just better kind of customer relationship management. Uh, you know, sending them a link like I showed you uh, right on top of here will just allow people to kind of just access more uh, information quickly on their own dime. So that's about it. And the very last thing is it's a great way if you do have a subscription product. Like I said before, if you have something with a payment plan or subscriptions, uh, this is an amazing way for people to just update their info on the fly. And they would just do that right inside of here where they can actually change uh, their credit card details, any payment information, and also their address. If you're sending anything physical, this is a perfect way for people to just update that stuff. Uh, you know, if there's any issues, you can kind of prompt them to do it there or you can do it for them as well, you know, using the same kind of thing. So that is it in the customer hub. And just remember that that thing is available to everyone inside of Thrivecart. And again, it's just in that settings area. It's kind of buried down here, uh, but it's definitely a very powerful feature and one that everyone should know of if you're using Thrivecart, especially if you're doing payment plans or subscriptions. And that is about it. It's pretty cool. So if you don't have Thrivecart yet, you know, we kind of say it every time in these videos, but uh, Thrivecart's amazing. It's the absolute most powerful checkout platform you can use for selling any product online. Um, and, and it's just so easy to use, it's simple to set up and embeds. You can have, uh, you know, all these different types of checkout pages outside of just your website, but, you know, having a dedicated page as well. Very simple to use. And if you want to check out any more content videos, training tutorials, Things like this, go to getthrivecart.com. There's there's probably a hundred plus videos there by now, and we're always adding more all the time. And definitely, if you are looking to get Thrivecart, we have an amazing uh, bonus package that we've kind of created for, for you. We're constantly updating that as well, and we have a Facebook group, all this cool stuff. But get it at getthrivecart.com, uh, and uh, you won't regret it at all. So let us know how you think of it. We'll see you later with the next video. See ya.